Morning everyone, Danny here from the Young Family Homestead. I've just spent the morning getting all the new cow paddocks ready for Dolly and Gus to move into. I didn't film any of it because I've been pretty slack with the filming lately and yeah, just, just been a bit slack with it all. The kids are over here playing in the cubby. They've been cleaning it for the last two days. They've been weeding and cleaning it out the cobwebs and cleaning out the toys and stuff in there. It's actually really awesome to see them playing outside like that. No phones, no tech, just outside playing in the cubby. We have got a bit of everything going on. We got, so we bought this piece of lily, right, from, I think we bought it from Bunnings. I think that, yeah, I bought it from Bunnings. It was one plant for $13. I, I read somewhere that, uh, that you could propagate piece of lilies in it's super easy to do so I thought I'd give it a go I bought this one as I said for about $13 uh, and then from that one plant we got one two three four five six seven seven we, we propagated it seven times and it looks like they're all doing really well they're uh, nothing's died I did that a couple of weeks ago so super easy to propagate um and they're really nice they're a real pretty flower anybody that doesn't know what piece of these are there that's what these little flowers are i've got a heap of other stuff here going i've got some lettuce some tomatoes uh these are not doing so well but they were uh, uh strawberries from the strawberry bed over there i'll show you guys that in a minute but uh, I tried to propagate some more blueberries, not doing so well. I don't know whether it's this time of year. I've propagated them before, but I can't remember when I did it. Dead, dead, pretty much all dead. And we planted some nasturtiums from seed. We did these, so they're not real. Some of them are actually looking quite yellow, but I have been watering them and putting sea sole and doing all the things you're supposed to do with them. But we, uh, some more growing here. These are a uh, natural wormer for uh, chickens. So, just say if you're having to worm your chickens, just plant us some nasturtiums. This one here we propagated, it's called a, what is it called? It's a monkey mask monsteria. So, I just seen it, I thought it was pretty cool and it had heaps of shoots coming off here. So, I thought, hey, why not try and propagate it? And we got this one, this one, and this one out of it. So, we got a few and then uh, this here we just they're on special when I see and I just thought they were pretty looking I installed aircon just recently that was uh, more so for my eldest daughter Violet she uh, not a big fan of the no aircon but in her defense it's pretty it's pretty nice having aircon in there now what else have we got going on over here we've got some weeds growing around it but oh, I don't know what's going on here but uh, looks, like, um, looks like something's been digging a hole down there hmm. I don't know what's going on down there but that's probably why that's not doing so well big hole down around the side of it uh, I don't really want to stick my hand down there to be honest but uh, there's a big hole there all right so let's start from this end anyway so some blueberries going all right this blueberry is not going all right it looks like it's dead uh, I did plant some oh there's one uh, an off cut of a strawberry so by off cuts of strawberries what I mean is see these little suckers they grow on them so out of this out of this original plant you can actually take these off and if you look close you can see the root system already starting to develop on there I don't know if you're going to be able to make that out there's another one there but you can get so that's two extra plants out of that uh, and yeah you may as well make the most of it right because if they're producing these they're not actually going to put any of their energy into the fruit so that's why you got to take these off and you may as well plant them rather than throw them in the bin. Uh, but a heap of other strawberries. We've been 
that looks like it needs sea salt, but I did just sea salt the other day, so that one there, same deal. Um, and that's another strawberry plant over there we've grown. Got a heap of these little dwarf sunflowers. They, don't, they only grow about this tall, so that's pretty cool for the kids. They uh, grow about 30 centimeters tall. We've got a few of those growing over here, over there. It is only a berry bed, but these are getting pretty dirty. It is only a berry bed, but these are, uh, yeah, need some flowers. We've got some uh, mulberries, two mulberry plants are growing there. I'm thinking we might even have to separate them, but and I've started to build a frame around this bed because we're going to cover it with, uh, with uh, bird netting just to stop the birds getting into these. And then we've got our chili bush, which is doing pretty awesome. We've got some, there you are, chilies in there growing. First chili bush that I have ever, ever successfully grown. So, yeah, anyway, chili bush. Mulberries, strawberries, sunflowers, more sunflowers, more strawberries, lettuce. We've uh, this is we've cut this back already, and we've and uh, we got th no four bags uh, of lettuce out of all this. Like just it's not really that much, but it's, w this is enough lettuce for us. So that's all we really need. Then uh, uh, blueberries, blueberries 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 and some weird thing that was in that hole but find some more strawberries and we've got our citrus trees over the back so we I just fertilized those guys the other day I've put up electric wire around them so the cows don't eat them because they will eat the they'll eat them for sure come over here a little summer Little chicken whisperer. How you going, Summer? Good. It's good. How do you like having your chickens in the main yard? Good. You like it? Yeah. That's good. I like this cute snow. She's right there. She's the white Suki. She's behind a tree. I can't really catch her because she is fast. And I don't really want to catch her because she does because she does get bullied by like by milkshake she's in here. She's white and orange, her head is orange. And blackness, she just kicked Snow. I think I already talked about this, but I didn't finish talking about this. So blackness, she stands there. She, she, and like, she's, like she's behind her, she's very cute. Yeah. She kind of is, yeah, cool. Hey, I'm gonna we're gonna have to get going, okay? I've got to do other stuff. Okay. All right. I'm but, just gonna finish this right, little just, bit tapping right, off. Right. <laughs> snow and Frizzle kicked snow out of this hole. I don't know why snow went in this hole. They're both the same size, so they both of these holes are their size, but I just think this one should be snow and this one should be Frizzle's because Frizzle I think she should like have a little one because she is like a little tiny. Oh yeah, very good. Hey, and snow hey. is bigger. Yeah. All right. Hey, we're gonna have to go. But look, what's your? Show us what happened to your mouth. I lost my tooth. Lost the tooth. And the tooth fairy came. Yeah. Good job. She gave me a two dollar and also those coins that you put in a gumball machine. Oh yeah, like a fifty what? center. 50 cent machine, uh, 50 cents. No one would like those ones with the town burden in. If yeah. you know what those coins are, people, please comment down below and make sure to give me a big thumbs up if you <laughs> like the video. Okay, very good. <laughs> oh, she's the best. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. This cubby is looking fantastic. Hello guys again. All weeded. Oh yeah, and you just cleaned up in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very nice. And instead of this orange bucket a bin now, if oh, you don't know where to put the tins. Oh yeah, you put, put them in there. there. Very good, you even got a shoe rack. I mean, you even yeah, got built that. Just been here, sweeping it out. Very good, all right, okay. And a rubber. And a book. All right. <laughs>
Oh dear, oh dear. Jibber jabber, jibber jabber. It's, a, it's so nice. Um, we painted the swing set. Looks nice and bright and blue. It was multicolor before. So, yeah. Um, what else has been going on? Chickens are being chickens, kids are being kids. Oh, Ava. Ava. Ava and Megan. We're going to go in and see them guys in a minute oh, and we'll give you an update on them. This is what I've been doing all morning. All the electric fencing. Because I'm going away this week, two weeks again. But uh, I spoke to my boss and told him that this will be the last two weeks that I do. All right. Dolly and Gus. See those guys? Cow shelter, still standing. Very good. Look at these guys over here. What's going on, Dolly? Hey, here you going, princess? Big Gus. Hey. These are pretty cute. Getting big though, huh? Fat and happy. Hey, fat and happy. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Coming in to uh, give everyone an update, and you're in here breastfeeding. Yeah. How? Can hear you. Oh. You interrupted. Sorry. Me. I interrupted. Oh, can I turn some lights on in here? So, what's going on in here? Oh, I'm making a routine. Very mm, good. The routine's already pre-made. Just got to follow it now. Yep. Um, well, I'll let these guys finish up, and then uh, mm -hmm. I want to I want to talk and give everyone an update about how you're going and how Ava's going. Hey, Ava. How you going? <laughs> Ava. Are you talking to you? Ava. What are you shy now? You can't be shy. Hey, Ava. Ava. Hi. Oh. It's a hard life, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so she's still pretty small. Yeah. Still little. But I was looking at photos and she's. She's way bigger. Yeah, she is way bigger. Eight That's weeks on Monday. Two days away. So what's that? Two months. Two months yeah, old. Yeah, two months old. I was just, I briefly said outside um, that this, I'm going away in a couple of days and this will be the last two weeks that I go away. So having Ava with us now, it's just really put a few things into perspective work-wise. Yeah. I did have a chat to my boss and said, look, I said to him if they could put me back in a workshop here in Brisbane and uh, yeah, I'm, we're gonna, I'm just waiting to hear back from him. So if they'd say yes, well then that'd be great. I could still work for the same company. If not, I'll find another job, but yeah. I'll be home every night. So, yeah. and uh, I just can't. Being gone for two weeks as well, it's just, I'm always playing catch up when I get back and it doesn't feel like I have two weeks off. I'd rather have a little bit, do a little bit every day than do nothing for two weeks and then have to do everything in two weeks. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough about me. Um, Megan, yes. how are you going being a first time mama? Yeah, good. For lots, every, yeah. Of, um, lots of rough nights and hard days, but yeah. I don't know how I expected it. You know, you know you're not going to sleep. But I think <laughs> sometimes you don't know how much you're not going to sleep. Yeah. So basically we're just trying to get her in some sort of routine um, and trying to help her self-settle. Um, at first I was going to just cut the dummy out, <laughs> but... It's a bad she, time for everyone. Yeah. She really likes her dummy, so I'm going to leave it for a little while and then we'll just start to wean her off her dummy. Because um, she really relies on it to go to sleep. Yep. Um, and we just started doing her cloth nappies because she's big enough now to go in her cloth nappies. Yeah, she was pretty small to start with. She would, yeah. she couldn't even fit in the. 
I fit in them. But. Yeah, I did have a larger size of the cloth nappy, which, was, which I didn't really know, but I know now. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy it, and she hasn't had any rashes or anything like that, so mm -hmm. yay! Because yep. she was getting rashes with the reusables, but I think it might have been the reusable, uh, the disposable wipes that we had. So I've also got reusable wipes, and they work really well. Yeah. So. Which I didn't even know was a thing, but you can get reusable wipes. I mean, that sounds pretty gross, but it's not really that gross. No. I kind of feel like it's not It's not that gross. I mean, I know she's not on solids yet, but no. maybe when she's on solids it might be a bit more gross, but I'm sure it's like when your kids are sick. You don't really... Like if, if your kids actually physically are like being sick. Like you, yeah, you don't you don't worry really about how gross that is. Yeah. You just go into like recovery mode, like you're just trying to fix the problem. Mm. So I suppose yeah. that's what makes it less gross. But I think this is the wipe system that we got, which is the cheeky wipe system, um, it sort of takes all the grossness out of it anyway, because the dirty wipes go into water that has um, some essential oils in it. So one, it doesn't smell. And two, there's a little um, drawstring bag in it. So when you go to wash them, you just take the drawstring bag out, you tip all the water out, you give it a squeeze and you chuck it in your washing machine. Like it's that easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's pretty simple. Yeah. So how's sleep? Sleep is awful at the moment. Um, she's really up and down. She had one night where she almost slept for seven hours. And then yeah, it like, slowly yes. like dwindled down. It yeah. went from seven hours to like five hours to four hours to last night. She was sleeping every two and a half hours and waking up and wanting a feed. Seriously so, felt like she was awake every half hour though. Yeah, it did. Yeah, because she, she was unsettled in her sleep as well. So there was a bit of grunting and... Um, yeah, because I'll wake up to every little sound. Yeah, which that's just I know, me in I, yeah. general. But um, I I wake up. It's just that I'm not. I'm not as alert. Alert. <laughs> yeah, when I wake up, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so that's why I've sort of started the sleep training now. I was gonna wait until Danny was away, but I can do it during the day because he's normally outside working. So I'll do it during the day and um, maybe for a first sleep at night and then we'll be attempting, well I will be attempting something which is called the dream feed which is supposed to sort of top them up like in the middle of their sleep so that they sleep through the night. So what hopefully. do you do, what is it, what is that? Explain you pick that. up your sleeping baby <laughs> and try and feed them. Mm. Um, so you can breastfeed or you can bottle feed expressed milk or formula, whatever you're doing. But we breast, you, um, well, but you I, breastfeed. But I breastfeed. But yeah. Cool. Haven't re we haven't really ventured out of the house much. No. We haven't gone Just anywhere like... and taken it <laughs> too many places. We sort of... Doctor's appointments and stuff. But... I'll finish this up here, but yeah, I just wanted to give everyone a bit of an update on what's going on out there, what's going on in here. <laughs> and uh, just let everyone know we're doing good. And Ava's growing up, she's healthy, putting on normal weight. Yeah. Yeah, for her and, curve, yeah. And Megan's... Doing good. Doing good. And apart from the lack of sleep, Megan's lost heaps of baby weight. Yeah, I got my wedding good. ring back on. Oh, you should put a wedding <laughs> ring back on, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I've got to edit this vlog now and get it out and done <laughs> so i will uh, see you guys in the next one i'm danny this is megan this is little ava this is the young family homestead and we'll see you then bye